Hey guys, welcome back to Number One Christmas and welcome to week two of the December series. Today's video is video four, where we're gonna take a deeper dive into my vintage glam theme for 2022. So if you're keen to see what's on this tree and what's around the room, stay tuned. Okay, so vintage glam came together over a number of uh, weeks and months. It didn't quite turn out the way, <laughs> it didn't quite turn out the way I had wanted it to, but it's not looking too bad. So I'm gonna start with the tree. So the tree here is a T11 um, Target tree. So I purchased it from Target. I think it was around $170 um, at the time that I bought it. It's a seven foot tree. It is flocked, very heavily flocked. Um, I did do an unboxing um, of this tree uh, on my Instagram and Facebook. So if you wanna see me unbox this tree, then go back and, uh, and take a look. Um, I also did a reel of me putting it uh, putting it up um, and putting it together. So go back and take a look at that as well. Um, the tree has these beautiful tips, these beautiful um, branches which uh, stick out. Um, so they're great for, uh, for hanging items from and you'll see that as we go closer into the tree. There are a lot of ornaments on this tree. There is not a lot of ribbon and not a lot of picks. So it's a little bit different to other trees that I've done. I have tried to stick with a, um, a fairly neutral colour palette, um, so going with the calming golds and creams, but there are quite a few colours on here, and I'll explain why I started to add colour a little bit later and move away from that gold and silver for this tree in particular. Now the lights, I'm going to give you a little bit of a close-up as we go closer in of the lights. There are 400 lights on this tree, which is not as many as I would ordinarily use on a seven foot tree. Um, but they are a little special, these lights. So these are what they call C, I think C6 lights. Um, and they've got a little bit of a, um, a vintage uh, look to them. What I was looking for are... Uh, um, these uh, old lights uh, that we had when I was a kid. Um, if you know, you know, you they were sort of spiky and if you stood on them, you knew about it. Um, I couldn't find them, um, so this is the next best thing. If anyone knows where I can find those lights in Australia, then please let me know because I would love some for next year. Um, the lights come in a pack of 200. They're connectable. I purchased them from Christmas Complete and I couldn't make a decision as to whether I wanted warm white or coloured. Um, uh, when I think of uh, vintage trees or trees when I was younger, I just think the coloured lights. And yes, I think tinsel and there isn't any on this tree, so I may need to uh, rethink my tinsel rule for inside. Um, so I actually use both. I connected them, um, so one made them one strand, they're connectable. I love lights that are connectable, it means less plugs. Um, I connected them in and I decided to use both the coloured. And, um, uh, and the warm white lights, which is where the colour started to seep in. So should we take a little bit of a closer look at the tree? And as usual, we're gonna start at the top and then work our way down. Let's take a look. So this is a bit of a look at where the tree is sitting. Just before we go into the topper, please ignore Ford Territory over here. We're going to have a look at him a little bit later on. Um, so this is my um, entryway and you can see I've actually placed the tree uh, alongside the door that doesn't get used so this is the main entry door. It is pushed a little up into the corner so you do lose uh, some of the width of the tree um, but that is okay. We're going to go back to the suitcase which is or was the theme for the vintage glam tree and we're going to take a little bit of a look at the top here. So as you can see for this tree I've gone for a star which is very different to what I ordinarily would go with. Now, I felt that for a vintage look tree, we needed a star or we needed an angel. And the star is where I landed. Um, but I also wanted to add some of these picks now, or these sprays. The star I purchased from Christmas Galore, um, it's a Holly and Ivy star. I think they're around $35. They do come in different colors. This is more of a champagne. Uh, gold uh, with the mirror um, effect. These sprays I actually purchased from uh, Victoria's Basement last year and they do have a bit of that vintage look so if I can get more of those I may be able to steer away 
from the tinsel in future vintage uh, tree themes. So the ribbon I did add, it was a little bit of a last minute um, addition. Um, it's a ribbon I've had for quite a few years. I purchased from Lincraft. I love uh, this pattern and I thought it was a little bit um, vintage. Uh, so I wanted to add a little bit of ribbon to the tree, but I didn't want it to be like the other trees with a significant amount of ribbon um, on them. I wanted this tree to have more ornaments than ribbon and florals. Uh, so that is just uh, a two loop bow and a three loop bow. And then it actually just cascades down the tree to a point um, with a few loops and then does the same thing back here. So to tie in uh, the ribbon um, and the picks at the top, I have added some into the tree, not in large amounts and not an, in uh, as big a scale. So the ribbon has come into the tree just in a little two loop bow with some tails and there's a few scattered around, um, around the tree. And then for the picks, what I actually found um, at Victoria's basement as well were these smaller picks. So I'm just gonna try and take one out of here so that you can have a look and see this. So this is slightly different leaves, but you can see those little sprays that are quite similar to this spray at the top. So they're almost like a miniature version um, with slightly different leaves. So those um, have been added um, around the tree, there's around five of those, and as I said, I got those from Victoria's basement last year um, as well. Look, I think they were around two or three dollars, and I think the larger picks um, were around five or six. So, the other item, which was a last minute addition uh, to this tree, are the poinsettias. Um, I wasn't going to add florals, um, but I had these, and I thought that some of the colour mix worked. So these are uh, more of like a champagne gold, works with the picks. And this colour, which look, can only be uh, called mustard in my view. Um, I don't want anything particularly brown on a tree. Um, this colour I thought looked, uh, looked quite vintage. So this is an interesting colour. I think I'm gonna delve a little bit more um, into using this colour um, in a vintage theme for 2023 without giving anything away. So the florals, uh, there are five. So they've just been dispersed just around the tree. And as usual, we have tried to get them into a diamond pattern of some form, um, as you can see there. So you can only see, um, I reckon you're probably looking at about two thirds of this tree. Uh, so there is a third at the back there that's not decorated. The ornaments are key for this tree. Um, and in keeping with the uh, vintage theme initially, I went for ornaments like this drop. I'll just move this out of the way. Um, this drop here, which is a plastic, it looks like a mercury glass, but it's plastic. Um, and I purchased that um, from uh, Christmas Complete. So they were the types of ornaments um, I was using. Um, and trying to focus on. Similarly, this, which is actually glass, um, which is a, a Christmas galore ornament. Um, and these ones, which were one of the initial ornaments that I'd purchased, which very much have that vintage look, um, and then are sort of a bauble um, at the back. Now, they were the main ornaments, sorry, and this one here, which is a Christmas, uh, so this is Christmas galore, as is this. So these are both around um, the five to six dollar mark. Um, these are plastic, just a finial. And again, if I take a little bit of a closer look and it actually um, zooms in properly, you can see that it's got like a mercury glass effect. So those ornaments were the initial ornaments that I was pulling together for this tree. And we were sticking with that, uh, you know, clear, silver, gold um, color scheme. Then I found these. So these ornaments that I'm showing you now are glass ornaments. They are, well, they came in a Target pack. Um, it was, I think, $25 for around 20 ornaments. 
Um, there are multiple different glass ornaments and they had the gold but I loved the mercury effect and I loved the colour, the red and green colour. And so I decided to add them to the tree. And when I step back from the tree, I think it's actually those lights and those coloured ornaments that stand out the most. I think with the flocking on the tree, uh, some of the other colours uh, wash out a little bit. So it's really uh, interesting to me to stand back now for the next uh, few weeks. And I have been standing back for the last couple of weeks looking at this and just seeing how I can tweak it uh, for a potential future, future theme. So the target balls, as I say, um, they were in a pack of uh, 20, I think for around $25, there's two packs on here, um, minus one bauble, which shattered as I was taking it out of the packet, unfortunately. So they're the colours. Now I still wanted to bring in some more gold and there's a few larger gold ornaments. So you can see this one here, which has got um, like a glitter and um, so probably the best way I can describe it is like an Epsom salt type texture um, to it. Uh, and then we've got this bauble, which is quite similar with larger glitter, but it actually does have, if I can do a zoom in and you can actually see here, you can see there's like a ribbed, uh, it looks almost like, looks like a leaf indent um, on this uh, bauble. So that's just adding in, they're both just adding in a little bit more gold. They were both purchased from Christmas Complete. I think they're around $5 each. So they're shatterproof, which is, um, which is perfect. So there's quite a few um, in the tree. So a couple of other items that I've added to the tree. These clear DIY baubles. So these you can fill. I haven't in this case, I've actually added them into the tree to allow you to see through, but also to allow the light to reflect off. There are a couple of other items that I have um, similar to that, which are these uh, reindeer. Um, so they're a resin uh, plastic reindeer. They've got a bit of a pearl, sorry, sort of iridescent look to them. Um, and they actually pick up the light from the tree. So there is one over here, if I show you this, it's the same ornament, but you can see he looks very blue because he's picking up this blue light um, that is sitting uh, behind him. And you've got this guy who is still looking a fairly ordinary color, but you can see the green light um, behind him. So I'm just trying to get those ornaments where the light um, shines through. You can see with this glass one that we saw earlier. So these uh, reindeer I purchased from uh, Victoria's Basement last year. Um, they were only a couple of dollars each. And then the clear baubles, uh, so these DIY baubles come in a pack. They're usually around six or eight dollars, depending on the size um, of the bauble that you get. So there's one other um, ornament here. So this little dancer um, that allows you to see through, picks up multiple shades of light, depending on which way uh, you are looking at the tree. And there's quite a few of those little dancers. I'm just gonna try and find another one to show you um, just how different um, they look, depending on the light. And so she just looks like she's dancing from the branch or hanging, um, uh, dancing um, on the branch. So that's that's quite fun to have on the tree. Whilst you can't see them very well, oh, here we go, look, there's one just up here. Um, you can see her if you look closely. So the dancers were a couple of dollars from Christmas Shack. I think there's around uh, five or six on the tree. We've got a couple of other items such as this bell. So these were in a pack of uh, six at Spotlight last year in the sales. We've also got these stars. So I've got a white and a gold and I've dug them into the tree to add a little bit more depth. Um, so they were $2 from Victoria's Basement um, in the sales last year. And then there's a beautiful little, if I can find where uh, we've got one, um, I've got one just here. So these snowflakes, um, which have these beautiful jewels on them. Um, so these again were a Victoria's Basement find, um, a couple of dollars each last year. 
um, and they just hang quite nicely uh, and there's quite a few um, that you can see hanging from the tree this one in particular I love because it's actually picking up some of the green uh, light um, in the uh, in the back of the tree I wanted to add a few jewels to this tree and these are little trinket boxes so the trinket boxes I found at spotlight for uh, I think they were six or seven dollars um, they as they are closed have a very beautiful kind of vintage look but what I wanted to do was have them open and I found these uh, little jewels which you can hang off the tree they did come with little uh, strings to hang but I actually just took the strings off and added them in and you can see some of the light reflects off them so there's a couple of those with a different amount of jewels in um, added around the tree so they just reflect um, some of that beautiful light there are a few other little vintage items um, or vintage looking items which tie back in to the vintage suitcase and one of them is this beautiful guy here so this is a bauble that uh, I received from Making Spirits Bright Victoria um, so I placed an order earlier this year um, and received their 2022 Christmas um, Christmas bauble which is absolutely divine that came in a beautiful little green uh, green velvet box and then this guy here so similar kind of face with this um, older looking Santa um, a Santa that I recall seeing when I was a, a child this is a tin piece um, and so um, I think he's just divine I purchased this from Christmas uh, galore um, I think it was around $20 it is tin and couldn't resist because see it's got believe so I think one day I'm gonna do a count of how many things I have in the house that have believe written on them uh, a few final pieces that I thought um, would allow me to stay away from tinsel uh, but still have a bit of a vintage look so these um, garlands are hanging from uh, multiple branches and tips and the fact that these tips uh, hang out um, so far or stick out so far um, is great because you can um, drape them further out from the tree so I'm going to take this one off for a moment and just show you um, this is a star gold star um, piece now this is a cut down of a longer garland I actually cut these into smaller pieces last year um, and hung them from the roof and so this year I thought they would be perfect just draped from uh, tips on the tree now I also found these and have done the same and this is a jeweled strand so you can see the jewels have quite a dark color to them now these I purchased from Christmas galore um, they didn't come like this though so when I purchased these they were um, a pick uh, there were three sprays on the pick three pieces with three of these strands now I've cut them off as separate strands they didn't sit quite the way I wanted them to in the tree and what I did if you can see that there is I added a dab of hot glue um, very cautiously to the end and now we have one one strand so that has allowed me to just dangle them um, across the branches or just droop um, droop them down as you can see some of them are and this one here is a perfect example so it just kind of hangs uh, hangs down so that's the tree guys I just want to show you the suitcase so this is the inspiration for the vintage glam theme now I'm not going to go through this in detail because I have done a Christmas DIY video so go back and take a look at my Christmas DIY videos and look out for the vintage suitcase a number of items that are in this suitcase are also on the tree or in and around the room which we'll take a look at shortly and then under the tree we've got a couple of smaller items and a fairly simple white tree skirt so the tree skirt was from Kmart um, it's fairly inexpensive I think it was around $12 I want to show you these items um, this is a, a little looks like a book but it is a, um, a gift box um, that was $10 from TK Maxx and I just love his little face this here again is another gift box 
Um, so this was from TK Maxx uh, also. I think this is around $8. And a little gift box. You can see it looks as though it's been put on um, newspaper. And so it's a little bit hard to get the lid on, but he does stand up. And then we've just got this bell. Now he's probably a little bit more rustic, um, but I did love his little face as well. So coming round from the tree, we have an alcove where I've actually just added some additional books. So carried that book theme through from the suitcase. So these are book stacks. There's three of these and they were $6 from Kmart over the years. They have a few different colors um, each year. The two larger books are again similar to the one under the tree they're gift boxes um the larger ones are $13 from TK Maxx and they have this sort of vintage uh look to them we've added the trumpets which are also in the suitcase and we've actually got a couple of these uh little Christmas trees which do have lights in them um and they just look uh quite vintage these candle holders are always here um, and they are a, a mercury glass so I've got those either side this is not part of the Christmas decorating but potentially has a vintage look to it as well so that's the alcove and I just want to show you these guys so these guys are welcoming people as they come through the door um, so just a couple of reindeer uh, the reindeer are from Kmart I think I got them for around six dollars on sale uh, this is Wiz. He is one of my larger elves and you can see his little jacket and the detail on his hat and his jacket and even his little shoes are very similar detail to uh, that that's on the ribbon from the Vintage Glam Tree. The bauble is a large resin bauble. I purchased that from TK Maxx. I actually managed to find that in the Boxing Day sales last year. It was $20. They're usually quite expensive, those baubles. So that's just a little scene. Um, that is greeting people as they walk through the door into vintage plan. So I hope you liked seeing a little bit more of the Vintage Glam theme for 2022. There is so much more in this house that I haven't shown you. So please stay tuned for more videos through December. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like what you're seeing and subscribe to the number one Christmas YouTube channel. Hit the notification bell and then you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video. Don't forget I am also on Facebook and Instagram as number one Christmas. So head over there, take a look at some of my posts. They can be a little bit crazy. I am a little bit obsessed with Christmas. Thank you very much for joining me and I hope you'll join me again for more videos delving into my themes for 2022.